In this series, I'm showing you how to get the most out of Outlook using Python. In this video, we're going to learn how to create email templates. Email templates are extremely useful when you have a basic layout that you like and you want to customize it for individuals or groups. For example, where I work, we often need to send notifications to individuals that includes content specific to the individual, but with otherwise standard messaging and formatting. By making a very small adjustment to code you've already worked with, you can create a template that can be applied to a mailing list of thousands of individuals, all customized to your specifications. In the video description, you'll find links to some copy and paste code that we'll use in this video, so make sure you have that handy before you proceed. I'm going to be using IDLE Interactive Python Shell, which comes packaged with Python. If you want to use the same, just type in IDLE in your command prompt. Otherwise, you can follow along with any code editor or IDE that you wish. So, without further ado, let's get started. As before, I'm going to import the Win32Com library. Then, we'll dispatch the Outlook application. Next, we'll create and display the message. Let's go ahead and add a recipient. Then, let's add the subject line. Finally, go ahead and copy and paste the HTML body into the console, and I'll explain what is different from what we've used before. Okay, you'll notice that this is essentially identical to the very first HTML formatted code that we used in a previous video, but with one difference. If you look at the span tag, you'll see a curly brace. This curly brace allows us to insert text into the string with string formatting. If you want to learn more about string formatting with Python, I've included a link to the Python documentation in the video description. So let's go ahead and set the HTML body without using string formatting, and then we'll try it with so that you can see what's changing here. Go ahead and type in message.htmlbody equals html underscore body. Okay, you can see that the HTML body is in the email as expected with the curly brace. Next, let's try using some string formatting to insert some names into this email. Go ahead and type in message.htmlbody equals html underscore body dot format, and then we're going to use the name Richard. Now the email shows the name Richard in the HTML body. Let's try a few more just to play around. You can see how simple this is, and you may be able to see already how you might employ this kind of technique to create bulk mail. If this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. In the next few videos, I'm going to be going over some of the sending limits that Microsoft imposes on Outlook, and how you can work around those to send mail in bulk from your Outlook account. See you in the next video.